Oh my god. Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be watching Game of Thrones Season 2, Episode 7. Yeah, 7. Um, so, in Episode 6, my friend made a cameo in it. And so, we didn't really do a recap at the end of that video. Kind of just, we watched it and then it was like 1am by the time we were done. So, I dropped him off at his house. So, basically, a recap of what happened was the most important things theon's ho ass switched up for sure now took over winterfell the raven was sent out last fucking second so rob found out and rob was like i i need to take theon's head theon he was my brother but i need to take his head i need to ask him why and then take his head it's tough it's tough to see if i'm being honest because i really liked theon I really, really liked him, but what are you gonna do, you know? And then at the end of the episode, um, the the goblin, I guess, uh, basically finessed Theon, and she was like, "Let me give you a night in bed and have my freedom." And she snuck out, slit the guard's throat, took Bran with her, and everyone else. And so now Rob is gonna send an army, not an army. He's gonna send his boys over. To take back Winterfell and make sure Bran is safe and protected, but Bran's not even gonna fucking be there anymore. So, and so I kind of, I'm kind of curious to see how that's gonna play out because now I'm sure Rob will take back Winterfell, not himself, the people he sends over there, but Bran's not gonna be there. So, okay, that's interesting. And then Lord Baelish almost caught Arya with uh, Tywin. He definitely knew it was her. He definitely, definitely realized it was her. But I guess he didn't say anything. So maybe, maybe not. Maybe he has something more planned to this. He probably has a bigger plan that involves this. So I'm sure he'll rat her out eventually. But we'll see. And Jon Snow let that scout get away. He was supposed to decapitate her, but he couldn't do it. And then she ended up getting away. So last thing I remember is they were just sleeping together. Trying to survive the night. So... And then, and then, Khaleesi's dragons got fucking stolen. So yeah, like, a lot more obviously happened, but I don't want to waste too much time in the intro. I want to get started, so I'm going to stop wasting time. We're going to watch this video, and if you want to watch the full-length reaction, that will be available on Patreon as well. The next two episodes will also be available on Patreon, so let's get started. Okay, Theon's just waking up. Oh yeah, okay. He's going to realize she's gone. I mean, he did promise her freedom, but maybe he was like, as I let you go on my conditions, not just she leaves whenever. The boy can't walk, but somehow he slipped past you. The giant must have took him. Oh, oh this is the dude who gave him hell of disrespect giant. when they first met. Hold on. Oh, well, that's all right then. Theon's going to off him, use him as, as an example. <sighs> Along with a wildling woman. The one you were fucking. Okay, she's not a goblin, she's a wildling. Ooh. Right. Get the horses. And the hounds. Also, if I'm looking down on my phone, I'm not on my phone, I'm taking notes. I kept my word. I never ran away. If I find them soon enough, I won't hurt them. Okay. Well, I'll hurt them, but I won't kill them. You don't need to hurt them, buddy. There's far more value to you alive than dead. They have no value to me missing. Rob will have sent a force to retake Winterfell by now. Rob's in the Riverlands. Yeah. My sister's in Deepwood Mott. She'll get here long before they do. And Ned Stark always said, 500 men could hold Winterfell against 10,000. <sighs> <sighs> Fuck, dude. Ah, it's such an advantage for Theon that he grew up in Winterfell for the last nine years. <clears throat> okay, yeah, Jon Snow and the Scout. Ygrid, I think her name was. Something like that. Did you pull a knife on me in the night? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, God. She got John Hello bricked. Can't be the first time you press your bone against a woman's ass. Let's move. Why is the first time? It is, yeah. How old are you, boy? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say he's 27, if they give us it. A bone. Neither. Both. Move. Okay, I guess we're not going to know how old he is. I'm going to my, my guess is still 27. No wonder you're all so miserable. Would you please shut up? Would you please shut up? Dude, why is she just fucking with him so much? And mm -hmm. we've been here the whole time. You lot came along and just put up a big wall and said it was yours. My father was Ned Stark. Damn. I have the blood of the first men. My ancestors lived here, same as yours. So why are you fighting us? That's a very good point. Yeah. Dude, she's just fucking with him so much, though. But I do get why. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, the dude. Okay. Wait. Wait, what the fuck happened? <laughs> Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Did I fucking miss an episode? Wolfsbane. A rare substance? That shit was no not fucking assassin. ruined in the last we episode. Hanged 20 men last night. I don't care if you hanged a hundred. Okay, yeah, they're Man trying to figure to out. Me. I want his name yeah, yeah, yeah. and I want his head. We think it was an infiltrator from the Brotherhood without bands. Pretentious name for a band of outlaws. Okay, okay, yeah, they're trying to figure out who killed the guard with the note. Arya, you know, was going to rat out Arya or whatever. I want them dead, every one. Killing them isn't the problem. But... It's finding them. You've gone soft what? again. I was thought you had... But wait, to... what's the fucking... The, the shitty? I don't know what the hell it's called. Was it that fucked up in the last episode? I don't know. The mutton. Yes, my lord. Don't like mutton. Also, I did know the shot. I did notice that the shot of the guard saying like, "Oh, we just can't find them," and it's right on Mario. No. Of course you are. Eat. I'll eat in the kitchen later. It's bad manners to refuse a lord's offer. Sit. I feel like Tywin's gonna like kind of see her as like his daughter over time. Look at it now. A blasted ruin. Do you know what happened? Dragons? Yes. Okay, we're gonna get her answer. So I guess they just didn't really show in the last episode how damaged the castle was. Careful now, girl. I enjoy you, but be careful. Take that back to the kitchen. Eat what you want. No born girls say, my lord, not my lord. If you're going to pose as a commoner, you should do it properly. My mother okay. served Lady Dustin for many years, my lord. She taught me how to speak proper. Properly. You're too smart for your own good. Has anyone told you that? Yes. Yeah. Go on. Damn, okay. Yeah, he's gonna start to see her as like a daughter, and then he's not gonna be able to send her off or kill her if he has to. Oh, and he's, he's gonna be fucking heated. Like, obviously he's gonna find out that's Ned's daughter, somehow. And he's gonna be so mad. And I'm all that stands between you and your beloved king. The thirteen. If I wanted your dragons, I would have taken them. They mean nothing to me on their own. Nothing. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. They're more valuable than. Back. There is no we, 
So why would you help me get them back? I took you under my protection in front of the rulers of my city. Yeah, he a fucking man stuck is what his I'm neck out. No more. If they say that Zaru Zohan Doxos is a liar, my word is worth nothing. I cannot yeah. let this thing happen to you under my roof. But it did happen under your roof. Khaleesi. We, we, we could face Many it. Many times in my life, I have been... I don't care where you've been. Oh my god. He seems like a really just genuine guy, too. I feel bad. Like, then again, he, his greater intentions might be horrible, but... So far, he seems like a good dude. I would trust him. I could teach you how to do it. I know how to do it. You know nothing, Jon Snow. I mean, it just seems like she's trying to get him in a really vulnerable spot. Just if, because if they're about to do it, just. Oh, he knifed to the throat. You know what I mean? And good for him for not taking the bait. And what did she say? She admired your spirit, your grace. And what then? She, uh... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, this is the... If every man were held accountable for the Hold actions on. of every distant relative, Sir Alton. Yeah. And we'd all hang. This is the dude that's going back and forth. Have the men build him a new pen. Put him in with the Kingslayer for now. Uh, okay. And the boy watch over them. Tyrone. That will be all. Yeah, I mean, Rob could have just been like, all right, you're done with us, kill him. And nope. Rob tried, Rob's trying to make him comfortable. Not comfortable, but just like, like safe, I guess. But they put him with the Kingslayer, Jamie. <laughs> we haven't seen Jamie in a fucking minute. Puffy. You saw what it was like to amputate a foot without any. I assume there will be more loss of limb before this war is over. If you need help finding these... I know where to find them. But I want you to come with I'm me. I'm sorry, I shouldn't interrupt you. Continue, my lady. She wants You're to go on a date. crag to negotiate a surrender. Yes. Mm. The crag will have a meister, and he will have what I need. Okay. I expect he will. If I could write a list. Come with me to the crack. Ooh, okay, no, he's inviting her. Okay. It's fresh in the morning, my lord. I'm looking at spending the rest of my life being treated like a fool and a eunuch by my own people. Ask yourself, is there anything I wouldn't do to stop that from happening? The hounds will find the scent again. I'll beat them until they do. I'll whip Dude. every man here until I have both those boys in hand. No, 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 It's better to be cruel than weak. Prince Theo! Nah. Where are they? Nah, because, like, Rob could have come. Okay, I like how Rob's scene was right before this. Oh, my God, dude. Because the way Rob and Theon act in power, totally different. Totally different. My lord. Over here. It's like Rob has compassion, but that doesn't make him weak, and that's what Theon's afraid of. Send the old man home. Are you gonna kill him? Don't kill him. I like him. Go back to Winterfell. Take him back. Theon, don't do this. Yeah. Okay, so if Theon finds them. Dude, I cannot see Bran dying. I can't. He's a... I do, but the show, it, like, it totally could happen. But the running out of characters to kill. Oh, oh, there's Jorah. Jorah. He came back. As soon as I heard. Oh, okay, okay. Do you know anything? Oh, that's right, he left. Yeah. Here he is dead. Duh. And into the slaughterhouse. I should have been here. You went to find me a ship. Yeah, My place yeah, that's right. is by your side. I shouldn't have left you alone with these people. These people? They are not to be trusted. And who is to be trusted? Who are my people? Uh, not these people. <laughs> Lord, what will my poor savage father say? Turn back around. And I thought that we were done, but he said, Turn back around. I'll tell you what, John. Dude, John is so done with her. Against mine, and 
since you can't talk about it without blushing. And me as well, just. What, right here in the muck? <sighs> I'll keep you warm enough. Don't fall for her, John. She's bait. She's baiting you. All right. John. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sure. All right. Okay. God, you're dull. Jump! Motherfucker! Oh, she. Yeah, she did something when she got close up. God damn it, John. Yeah, she fucked with the rope when she walked up to him. What the fuck? No way John dies. No chance. I don't no 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 I don't I don't think John dies. I know anyone can die. <laughs> but wait. Oh. Okay, Sansa's having like PTSD about that. But I don't think John dies. I I don't think so. I don't think I no <laughs> no. Oh, oh, that wasn't bruising. Never mind. Okay. It's all right. Give me that. If the queen sees, I can have Joffrey's children now. Help okay. me flip it over. Okay, okay. I was wondering why she was doing that. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. That's horrible timing. To tell her grace. You'll say nothing to anyone. Do you understand? Damn. She's gonna go tell her anyway. 100% she's gonna go tell her. Oh, oh, okay. Well, doesn't, doesn't matter now. You're a woman now. Do you have any idea what that means? I'm fit to bear children for the king. A prospect that once delighted you, bringing little princes and princesses into the world. The greatest honor for a queen. Joffrey's always been difficult. Oh, fuck yeah, he has. His birth, I labored a day and a half to bring him into this world. Jesus Christ, fucking red flag immediately. <laughs> you may never love the king, but you will love his children. I love yeah. this grace with all my heart. No, no, you don't. She knows. It's so very seen... touching to hear. She knows you don't. <laughs> like... Day. The more people you love, the weaker you are. You'll do love no one but your children. On that front, a mother has no choice. Yeah. But shouldn't I love Joffrey, your grace? You can try. Yeah, good. Yeah, she's like, good fucking luck with that. He's a piece of shit. Good luck with that. <laughs> love no, love no one, but your children. The more people you love, the weaker you are. Damn. Oh, here's Jamie. Who did you say your mother was again? I squired for you once. You know. When? The tournament, the day of Will and Frey's wedding. I went to Willem Frey's wedding. Oh my god. He did. Doesn't even remember. Your squire had gotten so drunk. The squires, they mean well, but young men with big jobs, they tend to overdo them. Yeah. When I think back to that day. <laughs> hey, buddy, we're having a great conversation over here. That was the best day of my life. Jamie's like, that was just another fucking Saturday for me. Stark's are very careful. There is a way, I think. It wasn't possible until now. What is it? Oh no, he's gonna get... It's gonna... Uh, this guy's gonna get killed somehow. 
It's actually quite simple. Well, let me help no. you. Jamie. You only have to do one thing. Die. You'll have to die. How did I know? How did I know? Oh my god. Jamie. Dude, I thought Jamie was like kinda cool and now, and then he just kills it. Come on, dude. What the fuck? So, wh where do you go from here? Where do, you, where do you go from here? Now Jamie's gonna fight him and take his sword and get the fuck out. Yep. Okay. Uh, God damn it. I mean, fuck. Here for lessons. No, you came for the dragons. You have them. Where are they? Draw your sword. See what your steel is worth. What the, dude? What is this? <laughs> yes. Where are the dragons? Will you betray her again, Jorah the Undo? You mean again? By leaving? Will you betray her again? What? Never. The thief you seek. Is with her now. Okay. Who is she to accuse us? Please, they're my children. I'm begging you. Begging us? It wasn't very long ago you were threatening us. Oh, okay, not... someone in this room. The shot of the guy carrying the dragons looked kind of old, so maybe it was one of the, it was the bald guy. If I knew where they were, I would not tell you. You are cruel, my friend. Dude, the mother of dragons. Might be that guy. Right. Yeah, that guy. She must be reunited with her babies. I will help you, Khaleesi. How? I will take you to the house of the Undying, where I have put them. Yep. You I fucking knew it. Dragons. I called it. You were coming to our city. I made an arrangement with the king of Karth. <laughs> he procured them for me. But there is no king of Karth. There is now. That was the other half of the arrangement. Is it Zerazon Doxos? The mother of dragons will be with her babies. Okay. She will give them her love, and they will thrive by her side. Okay. Forever. Yeah, that would be. Oh my. Okay, yeah, I get why she's scared. Oh, her mother should oh. be with her children. Dora, good shit. Okay, this wasn't bullshit when he when he did that magic trick. That wasn't just his brother. For you in the house of the undying. Oh my god. Come see them. them. Please, I hope Dora doesn't die. I really hope he doesn't. I, I wouldn't trust that fool in the, the Undying either. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. What is it? I caught the Kingslayer. Oh, he not get away? Yep, the, yep. Okay, he, he didn't get away. Any man who stands between her father and his vengeance asks for death. Lord Karstark. You can't do it, you can't do it. This monster killed my son. And crippled mine. He will yeah. answer for his crimes, I promise you. But not here. I will have his head. And if you try and stop me... You will strike me down. Have you forgotten me, sir? I am the widow yeah. of your liege lord, Eddard Stark. I am the mother of your king. And where is our yeah. king now? You know very well. Okay, so that's Ned's dad. Okay, okay. Might be late on that, but... Of course he ate. He brought that foreign bitch with him. How dare you? Threatening my lady is an act of treason. Treason? How can it be treason to kill? Hey, I got, um, Brienne. I got Brienne. Wait, is that her name? Ah, uh, fuck. I will demand this murderer's head. 
Wise men do not make demands of kings. Fathers who yes, love their they sons don't. do. I yeah. will have his head. Thank you for fighting on my behalf, Lady Stark. Fucking I would have come to your defense, but Take you will get his head, but not, but not now. Just not here. Well, for your later years, there's not much fish left in you. And gag him. <laughs> I love Lady Stark, Catelyn Stark. I love her. <clears throat> when do you light your own candles? It's hard to put a leash on a dog. Once you've put a crown on its head. She was like that before. He didn't switch up. It just made him more of what he already was. The sun returns at dawn, my lady. So they say. King yeah, he... won't last the night. Yeah. The more they drink, the angrier they'll get. And when the car starts, draw their swords. Who wants to die defending a Lannister? Yeah. Come. Oh, they're gonna take Jamie and get him out of there. Uh, okay. Honestly, Brienne might be able to take Jamie. I don't know. I'd I'd want to see that, but I don't want to see her die if that happens. Like, uh... I need to be alone with him. My lady, our orders. Your orders, which I just gave you. To leave me alone with him. Uh, that's not really safe. Mm. But he's chained up. He's chained. Oh. I believe it's my last night in this world. Is that a woman? Do you hear them out there? Bro, they she would take you head. so easily. Not easily, but she'd probably be the most competitive one against Jamie. You strangled his son with your chains. Oh. Oh, oh wait. On guard duty. Oh, was that old guy with the white beard not Ned's dad? Okay. That was the... Uh, okay, never mind. You are a man without honor. Yeah. Do you know... I've never been with any woman but Cersei. So in my own way, I have more honor than... Poor old dead Ned. What's the name of that bastard he fathered? Brienne. No, that wasn't it. Yeah. Snow. Brienne. Ned came home with some horse baby. Did you pretend to love it? Dude. No. Jamie. You're not very good at pretending. You're an honest woman. You hated that boy, didn't you? No. How could you no. not hate him? The walking, talking reminder that the Honorable Lord Eddard Stark fucked another woman. The sword. Dude, what is she gonna do? Is she gonna kill Jamie? Is she, is she gonna kill Jamie right here? I would... I told you what oh. would happen. Alright, of course, a cut. Of course. All of you. <laughs> I told you what would happen if you served me loyally. And what would happen if you did not? No. No. Still question whether your new lord means what he says. Here is the answer to your question. Come on, come on. Wait. Who the fuck? That is not Bran. That is not Bran. What? That is not. That was not Bran. No, they did not find him. I don't believe that. No, no fucking chance, dude. It's fucking twelve thirty. I'm about to watch episode eight right now. Like I need to. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a great fucking episode. Wow. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. Tywin, he hung 20 men to find out who killed the guard. Still not enough. Still don't know who did it. Has no idea it was that dude Arya said, hey, I need another life or whatever. Still no idea. And I feel like Tywin's kind of growing. Like, Arya's growing on Tywin a little bit. Like, he's going to start to see her as, like, 
a daughter. And then my guess is eventually he's going to find out who she is and just kind of be like, oh, Ned was your dad. And he's not going to be able to kill her when he has to. And that's going to be his downfall somehow. It's just a guess. It's just a guess. Okay. It's just a guess. Anyway. And then with Jon Snow, Jon Snow got fucked so bad. Like, okay, you great, you great, you okay. Well, she was just busting his balls the entire time. You know, I knew she was baiting him. It was, I knew it, I knew it. And he never gave in. He didn't give in, but he let her get too close to where she can do something with the ropes and get away. And then all her other people were there too. And I don't think Jon dies. I know, I know characters can die. But I feel like John deserves a better death than this. You know what I mean? If John does die eventually, it's going to be a very audible death. It's not going to be to these people in season two. That's just my guess. And then, okay, so Jamie's ho ass. Jamie's a, such a hoe, dude. Oh my god. I thought he was kind of cool having that conversation. Like, oh, he's actually kind of a cool dude. And then he just kills that guy. Like, oh my God, dude. And then he got caught. And Rob wasn't there because Rob went to go and um, negotiate a surrender with Talisa or whatever. She needed supplies, so she went with him. And they went to go and negotiate a surrender. So he wasn't there when Jamie got out. And, you know, okay. And the, white, the dude with the white beard, I was like, I don't think we've ever seen that guy before. But I guess he's Ned's dad because i don't know just like the way he was talking about it like first of all he said he killed my son and then you know he said some other things i was like okay i guess this is ned's dad i guess but it wasn't it was the guard's death it was the guard's dad that jamie took the chains and choked out i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure okay and then so yeah and then at the then when Catelyn Stark was talking to Jamie. He was just talking so much shit, dude. Oh my god. And she was like, Brienne, give me your fucking sword. I'm about to kill this guy right now. And then it cuts away, so obviously we don't know what happened, but we'll find out in this in the next episode that I'm about to watch. And then Sansa. Sansa is ready to have a child. Now, granted, I'm pretty sure she's like 14, 15, so you know, by today's standards, I, I wouldn't say she's ready for a kid, but by these time standards i guess you know so you know she'll have a kid with joffrey and hopefully if she has a kid with joffrey joffrey will see her like he'll have more of an emotional attachment to her where he won't just be able, he won't just be extremely disrespectful to her anymore and just have her fucking oh a whatever your name is go beat the fuck out of her like hopefully he won't do that shit anymore because he actually likes her hopefully hopefully and then Tyrion said that Stannis is on the way with 200 ships and he'll be here in four to five days you know four days with the wind five with no wind I guess so okay that's interesting and then I guess they're gonna take the wildfire from the last couple episodes and just fucking launch that at Stannis when he pulls up and then and then at the end right there okay so i they hinted okay when theon told the old guy to go back to winterfell i'm pretty sure they found the food that bran and H horden i think his name was and the wildling was eating you know i'm pretty sure that's what they were eating and just dropping it on the ground i'm pretty sure that's what they found but then the bodies at the end I don't think that was Bran and the other kid. No way. No way he would find Bran and the other kid and then fucking catch him on fire and then hang them or whatever. I think he he probably just murdered two random kids, if we're being honest, and lit them on fire, burned their bodies, so you couldn't tell for sure who they were. And he's going to tell... No, he's showing everyone at Winterfell that I found them because he wants to earn their respect and not really their respect, but like get them have them fear theon i think that's what he did right there so and with khaleesi's 
her dragons were stolen. Jara fucking sprinted back. He did the race as soon as he found out they were stolen. He came back. Love the loyalty. He went to go find her a ship. And then he's like, oh, shit, your dragons got stolen. On my way. And then some weird shit happened with him later. Uh, the dude of the Undying basically offed everyone in the 13th to, I think, okay, I honestly think he was on Khaleesi's side to get, I don't know why he took the dragons in the first place, but he was on her side and he was, I guess, he, I think he was trying to show her, hey, look, uh, I just killed everyone in this room to prove my loyalty to you, so there's no one I can betray you, betray you for. And that kind of just weirded her out. She's like, oh, I gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so... Yeah, comment down below what you thought about this episode. And if you like the video, like the video. Thanks for watching.